To replace an existing photo, click the image and a pop-up will appear. By clicking here, you browse and select the photo you want to use. Once the photo loads in the pop-up, you may close the pop-up and wait for the image to load in the design. Now that the image is loaded, we can make any necessary adjustments. By clicking on the image, you will see several icons. The icon in the lower right corner allows you to resize the image. The icon in the top right corner allows you to rotate the image. And lastly, the trash can icon in the lower left allows you to remove the image in the event you want to use a different photo. You can reposition the photo by clicking and moving as desired. Next, let's look at adding a new image to the design. As you can see, our existing layout does not have enough room for a new image, so we will remove a few elements to make space. To add a new image, click the Add Image feature at the top of the tool. As before, you will click here to browse and select your image. Once the image loads in the pop-up, close the pop-up and wait for the image to load. In this example, you can see the photo I have added takes up the entire screen and we are not able to see the resize icon in the lower right of the photo. To reduce the size of the photo, first click the image, then click the transform icon in the pop-up. The first slider option in the pop-up will allow you to reduce the size of the photo by sliding left. Once the photo is down to a manageable size, you can then use the resize icon in the bottom right corner of the photo. You can also remove existing elements from the design to provide more space for photos and text. To remove an element, select the element, then click the trash can icon. Once you have opened up space, you can resize and position your photo as you desire. 